in this video we will be uh, working on creating iSCSI storage iSCSI file on netapp 7 mode and we will be adding the iSCSI storage to vCenter data store to vCenter so this is the this is the 7 mode filer console I'm using uh, NetApp on command system manager to access the filer so to to enable iSCSI on filer first of all we need license so we'll check license so already license is there but it is disabled so I will show you if already license is enabled you will be able to see the iSCSI protocol on the protocols is enabled and this is the filer where iSCSI is enabled FC is enabled but not running so here let me check the license it is enabled here so we will be enabling the iSCSI and filer 02 Just right click and enable it so we are able to see now so we will start the iSCSI service okay so these are the ports Ethernet ports on the filer with the different IPs And this is a SCSI target node name. So what we'll do is we'll create a volume. Only we have a volume, so let's check. Okay. Okay. We'll go to LAN. We'll create a LAN which should be presented to our virtual environment. So we'll give a name LAN. Let's go. You should select VMware here and the size of 10 GB with thin provision. We'll say you need to select the aggregate. Though we have 6 GB, we have selected thin provision, so it should accept. We need to add the we need to create an initiated group. We need to select the protocol. We are using iSCSI protocol, so we'll select iSCSI. The group is created. Click select next. Then now LAN is created. You see there is no initiators. It's fine. Okay. Now LAN is created and our filer IP is 192.160.180. Now we will try to add the uh, like we need to we'll go to vcenter environment and we'll add a
green sheet as can see so we'll go to vcenter configuration storage adapter here we need to select iscc adapter go to targets go to dynamic target and add the ip address of our file 192.168.0.180 Okay, we need to scan our storage adapter as we have added a new iSCSI server. Okay, We'll do the same on yes x zero two. Dynamic discovery add SKC server nine two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one eighty. Once added, we'll scan the adapter. It's done. Now what we'll do is we'll go to storage devices scan go to data store add vms vmfs here it should detect but it's not detecting we'll check why it is not detecting okay i found the issue like uh, <coughs> we need to copy the like we need to add the iscsi name of esxi iscsi adapter name to the, the initiator group the time is it so so i went there and added the both ESX servers uh, initiator names to the group once I added uh, I'm able to once I added I have scanned the data store devices
okay so here we will go to new data store on uh, my cluster click next click vmfs uh, give the data store name we'll give net app 7 7 m let's go see 0 2 click next give me for 6 you will go for all defaults next and click finish so the tester will be created it's done and we are able to see the storage here same will be available on 0 to see now the iSCSI store data store is available on both the SXI boxes and if you want to add the data store to the cluster storage cluster so we'll go to settings and we'll select the data store click ok and now the new data store is added to the storage cluster now it won't increase to See, we are able to see three data stores here. Previously, it was two. And the size is 110 GB, which is previously 100 GB. So, 120 GB. Previously, it was 110 GB.